so thrilled to be talking to Matthew Morrison and Jane Lynch from Glee. How are you guys doing today? Good. Average. Average? Just yeah. an okay day? No, I'm good. Okay. Oh, good. Yeah. Um, so you guys both have interesting backgrounds in Broadway for you, Matthew, and improv for you. Has that come into play on Glee at all? Well, for you, obviously. Well, yeah, I get to sing and dance <laughs> yeah, on the show, so well. it kind of uh, plays into it a little bit. And uh, Jane has been teaching me a lot of improving. Uh, yeah, we get to improv a lot on, on the show. We set. do. We get to fool around um, in our scenes in the principal's office. We get to kind of go off book, and it's fun. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Um, were you guys in any clubs when you were in high school? No, this guy was like the, the one you hated. <laughs> I heard. I listened yeah, to the NPR interview last night. Everybody loved him. No, I was in a, I wouldn't say clubs. I was like, you know, uh, president of my school. and. Oh. Uh, Prom you would have had king nothing to do with me. Prom king. Quarter yeah, no, we wouldn't have run in the same no, circles. No, we would not. No, 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 no. I would have been looking up at you if, if I weren't so much older than you. I probably would have been looking up at you because you're considerably <laughs> well, I was six foot tall when I, I was 16, yes. But, uh... <laughs> yes. Yeah, and I, I, I was in uh, kind of, I kind of traveled through groups. Mm -hmm. um, I, I had a, a group of about 14 girlfriends, and the, within that group was like cheerleaders, math nerds, burnouts. So we were a well-rounded group. And then every day, the last hour of school, um, I did choir. And we would tour around the state, Illinois. And um, we did shows, and I also did plays whenever those came up. Awesome. Yep. Are we going to hear Sue bust out in song this season? No, you're going to see me bust out into dance. Oh, yeah. I dance with Matt. We do the we Lindy Hop, down. and I flip him around like he's a little girl. Like really? a little pixie angel. Yeah. <laughs> yes, he flips. He does all the work. I just basically do this. No, she's working her. Oh, man, <laughs> yeah. we were like sweating. Yeah, we were sweating. It was, a, it was a, a long number, too. It was it about was. five minutes long. And in dance time, that's like an hour and a half. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right, yeah. right, Matt? Exactly. I don't know what that means, but that's great. <laughs> it's like dog ears. <laughs> <laughs> dance years. Yes, dance years. Um, do you see yourselves in your characters at all? I don't think I could do it if I didn't see myself in it. You know, I think um, it's not what I lead with in life, the mean, shaming, humiliating, <laughs> uh, kind of uh, cruel, heinous characteristics that Sue Sylvester embodies. I don't think I lead with that, but it's in there. And not far from the surface, I think you're probably... <laughs> <gonna be. laughs> yeah. oh, you want it? There it is. <laughs> Pull it out real quick. Mm -hmm. um, I definitely, uh, I think if I wasn't, if I didn't move to New York and, and had the success that I had there, I think I would actually be a teacher, mm -hmm. a music teacher. So, um, not much of a stretch. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you see your high school selves in any of the kids? Yeah. I see myself in Tina played by Jenna Uskowitz. She is really talented, but she holds back. You know how um, she doesn't add much, she doesn't say much, but when she does get to sing, she's really good, but backs off from that high note. Remember she sings the West yeah, Side yeah, Story yeah, yeah. thing? And, she, and you know she probably can do it. Oh, she has it, totally. She has it, but she's afraid of it, mm -hmm. and she backs off. And that's kind of what I did. I kind of, I kind of backed off from my own enormous talent. <laughs> And um, I, was, I was always a little bit of a surprise to people if I actually stepped into something and allowed myself to really be seen. It was like, oh, we didn't even know you were here. So I kind of see myself in her. How about you? I see myself in uh, Finn, mm -hmm. I think. Because uh, I kind of, in high school, uh, had rode the line between athletics and uh, playing in the musicals and mm -hmm. stuff. So I kind of had to make that, that decision to actually go t in the arts route instead of the sports. Uh, do you ever expect that you're going to be rapping to a Kanye song? No, and after the MTV, yeah. uh, did you see what happened? Yeah, yeah. Oh. No, 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 what happened? I, Kanye I, West did this thing at the MTV Music Awards, and he, uh, Taylor Swift won this award, uh, like video of the year or something, and he got up while she was accepting the speech and said, Beyonce should have won that, that, <gasps> that thing. That was the best music video in like ever. ever. And he got kicked out. And he got kicked out. Award. He should have been. Beyonce, oh my gosh, she went up and accepted her award later, and she said, Taylor Swift, why don't you come back out here? I remember what it was like for me when I won my first award, and he, she let her, like, give her a speech again. It was, like, oh the worst God. thing ever, and then it was, like, turned into, like, the best thing ever. It was really cool. What yeah. the heck? But it just, he's, I don't know what the hell he's It's that, that huge ego thing, you know? It's the Napoleon complex. Yeah, you Napoleon don't have to deal complex. With that, I get, yeah. you know what, the guy's Napoleon complex come out, or comes out around, around me. Yeah. Yeah, very easily because so, I'm six feet tall. Immediately. <laughs> so thank God that uh, that uh, aired, before. aired last week. Yeah, yeah. right. Because everyone yeah. was a, literally a Twitter about it. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure. Wow. It was intense. So, that's terrible. Um, if you could do any song on Glee, what would it be? I would. I I really want to do a Coldplay song. I want to do like Vita La Vida. Mm-hmm. 
I really like that song, and I, I think it would be go cool with like, um, you know, all the strings, strings, yeah. and orchestra behind me. That'd be mm -hmm. awesome. I'd like to do Rose's turn. I love Chris, Chris Hardy, a place Kurt claimed it. Um, from Gypsy, it's at the end where Mama Rose kind of goes crazy. You know, I did everything for you. Mama, no, Mama's got to let go. Mama's got to let go. <laughs> Mama. 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 Do, uh, <laughs> do you have a favorite Sue Sylvester line so far? Oh, she's there's so some quotable. great there's ones. Yeah, there's gems. some great ones. Let me think. Oh. Oh. She has good ones about my hair. Oh, yeah. there's. I have some wonderful commentary about his curly hair and how I fear that there's animals and rats and rodents living in there, and it freaks me out. So she has a thing about his curly hair. I can't remember exactly what I say. But she funny. thinks that I use lard in it and yeah. stuff. Yeah. And it's, it's, I wear a hat <laughs> so now because I'm so because insecure yeah. about it. So thank you. You have you. great hair. <laughs> and it never moves either. Thank you don't, you don't even need a hair person, do you? It's the Lubriderm I put in it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Six quarts. Done. Well, great. Mm -hmm. um, it's the most exciting show on television, so congratulations. Thank, thank you. you very much, Adam.